Have you ever wondered about the specter that haunts our economy long after a recession ends? This phantom, this lingering presence, is what we refer to as the ghost of a recession. A recession, as many of you may know, is a significant decline in economic activity that lasts for months, even years. It's a period marked by a drop in GDP, income, employment, manufacturing, and retail sales. But the impact of a recession doesn't cease once the economy starts to recover. It leaves behind a ghost, a haunting shadow that continues to influence the economy and our lives in subtle yet profound ways. Picture this, a bustling city alive with commerce and optimism. Then the recession hits, businesses shudder, jobs evaporate, dreams crumble, the city's vibrant pulse slows to a mere whisper. This is the immediate, tangible impact of a recession. But what about the ghost it leaves behind? The ghost of a recession is harder to quantify, yet its presence is undeniable. It's the lingering fear that keeps investors wary, the uncertainty that stifles business expansion, the scar tissue that makes job seekers settle for less. It's the collective memory of hardship that shapes our decisions long after the economy has moved on. But this ghost is not just a harbinger of doom, it also brings lessons, wisdom born out of adversity. It's a reminder that resilience and adaptability are the keys to survival in an ever-changing economic landscape. It's a prompt for us to question old ways of doing things and to seek out innovative solutions. It's a call to action to build a more robust and equitable economy that can weather future storms. So, as we embark on this journey to unveil the ghost of recession, we're not just chasing shadows. We're seeking to understand the long-lasting effects of economic downturns, to learn from the past, and to prepare for the future. As we delve deeper into this mystery, brace for a chilling revelation of the haunting shadows of a recession. Now cast your minds back to the late 2000s when the world was ensnared by the Great Recession. An economic specter began to loom in late 2007, a specter that would grow into the most severe global recession since the Great Depression. Its roots can be traced back to the United States housing bubble and the subsequent subprime mortgage crisis. Financial institutions worldwide suffered severe damage, reaching a climax in the fall of 2008, when the fourth largest U.S. investment bank, Lehman Brothers, filed for bankruptcy. The fallout was immediate and far-reaching, stock markets plummeted, wealth evaporated, and the world economy was thrust into a period of uncertainty and turmoil. Businesses large and small folded, unable to weather the storm. The job market contracted sharply, leaving millions unemployed. Their dreams shattered and their futures uncertain. But the reach of the Great Recession extended beyond the immediate economic fallout. It triggered a seismic shift in the way we view and regulate the financial industry. Governments worldwide took unprecedented steps to bail out financial institutions, arguing that they were too big to fail. This sparked a heated debate about moral hazard and the role of government in a market economy. The Great Recession also left an indelible mark on individuals. Many who lost their jobs had to reinvent themselves, acquiring new skills to navigate a radically changed job market. The specter of the recession forced a reevaluation of personal finance strategies, emphasizing the importance of savings and fiscal responsibility. Moreover, the Great Recession exposed and exacerbated income inequality pushing it to the forefront of public discourse. The recovery was uneven, with the wealthy bouncing back quickly while many middle and lower income households struggled to regain their footing. In the aftermath, we saw a global economy forever changed and a new generation shaped by economic hardship. The lessons learned and the scars left behind continue to influence economic policies and personal financial behaviors. The Great Recession was a chilling reminder of how quickly fortunes can change and how long the shadows of a recession can linger. The ghost of the Great Recession continued to haunt the world long after the crisis ended. Its lingering effects were seen in the high unemployment rates that stuck around like an unwelcome house guest. People were out of work and the job market became a battlefield with countless individuals vying for the same positions. But it wasn't just about the jobs. Consumer spending, the lifeblood of any thriving economy, took a nosedive. People were tightening their belts, holding back from making purchases they would have made without a second thought in brighter times. 
The shopping malls, once buzzing with activity, echoed with the hollowness of the economic downturn. The economy, in turn, grew at a snail's pace. The wheels of progress turned, but oh, so slowly. Businesses, both big and small, felt the pinch. Profits dwindled, and some companies even had to shut their doors. The once robust economic landscape looked more like a desert, with only the hardiest survivors managing to eke out an existence. But let's not forget about the inequality that was exacerbated during this period. The rich got richer, while the poor got poorer. The gap between the haves and the have-nots widened, creating a chasm that seemed impossible to bridge. This, perhaps, was one of the most haunting shadows of the Great Recession. And then there's the mental toll, the stress of losing a job, the anxiety of not knowing where the next paycheck would come from, the fear of not being able to provide for one's family. These are the unseen scars of the recession, the psychological wounds that time struggles to heal. The shadows of the Great Recession serve as a stark reminder of the long-term impacts of economic downturns. They remind us of the importance of resilience, of the need to adapt and evolve in the face of adversity. They serve as a warning, a call to action, urging us to build a stronger, more robust economy that can weather the storms of the future. Because as history has shown us, the ghost of a recession can and will return to haunt us again. Fast forward to 2020, when a global pandemic thrust the world into yet another recession. The COVID-19 recession, as it has come to be known, emerged seemingly out of nowhere, a specter born from a health crisis that swiftly mutated into an economic one. The world locked down, businesses shuttered, economies stagnated, and unemployment soared. A disease that started in a corner of the world quickly spread its tentacles across continents, pulling the rug out from under the global economy. The causes of the COVID-19 recession were as novel as the virus itself. Unlike previous downturns, this wasn't triggered by financial missteps or policy errors. This time, it was a microscopic virus that brought the world to its knees, a silent assassin that not only threatened our health, but also our livelihoods. And the impacts? They were and continue to be profound. Small businesses, the backbone of our economies, bore the brunt of the blow. Many were forced to close their doors, some temporarily, others for good. Individuals too felt the sting. Jobs evaporated overnight, financial security crumbled, and dreams were put on hold. Yet despite the hardships, we also witnessed an outpouring of resilience and innovation. Businesses pivoted, adapting to a new normal. Remote work became the norm, digital transformation accelerated, and new sectors emerged stronger than ever. But let's not sugarcoat it. The road to recovery is long and fraught with uncertainty. Economies are slowly rebounding, but the scars of this recession run deep. Unemployment remains high, businesses are still struggling, and the global economy remains on shaky ground. We're still grappling with the haunting impacts of the COVID-19 recession, a ghost that continues to cast its shadow over our economy. But as we navigate through these uncertain times, remember resilience and adaptability are our greatest weapons. And as we've done in the past, we'll rise again stronger and more prepared for whatever the future holds. What lessons can we learn from the ghost of a recession? That's the question we're diving into now. Recessions, though daunting, serve as a profound teacher, offering insights that can help us navigate future economic downturns. One such lesson is the significance of fiscal responsibility. A sound economic structure, much like a well-built ship, can weather the storm of recessions. It's crucial to maintain healthy public finances, reduce excessive debts, and ensure sustainable growth. This fiscal discipline can provide a safety net, cushioning us from the hard falls of downturns. Another lesson learned from the spectral presence of recessions is the necessity for robust regulatory practices. Banking crises, excessive risk-taking, and unregulated financial markets have often been the precursors to recessions. Strong regulatory measures can prevent these financial missteps from spiraling into full-blown economic crises. They act as the lighthouse, guiding us safely through the treacherous waters of economic uncertainty. Moreover, recessions underscore the value of economic diversification. Relying heavily on a single industry or sector can leave an economy vulnerable to shocks. Take the analogy of a balanced diet. Just as we need a variety of nutrients to maintain our health, 
An economy needs a diverse mix of industries to stay robust. Economic diversification can shield us from sector-specific downturns and promote long-term economic stability. Recessions also highlight the importance of social protection systems. The vulnerable groups in our society are often hit the hardest during downturns. Robust social safety nets can provide a lifeline for these individuals, helping them weather the storm. Lastly, recessions teach us resilience. They remind us that downturns, though challenging, are temporary. With determination, innovation, and collective effort, we can overcome these economic storms and emerge stronger. By learning from the past, we can better prepare for future economic downturns and reduce their haunting impacts. Let's carry these lessons with us so we can face the ghost of the next recession with courage, wisdom, and readiness. How can we prepare for the next ghost of a recession? In the face of a looming economic downturn, preparation is key. Our ability to weather the storm and emerge stronger on the other side hinges on the steps we take today. So, let's explore some strategies to ride the waves of the next recession. First and foremost, let's talk about building an emergency fund. Having a safety net of savings can provide a cushion against the turbulence of a recession. It's like having a flashlight in the dark, illuminating a path forward when times get tough. A rule of thumb is to have at least three to six months worth of expenses saved up. Remember, it's not just about survival, but preserving our peace of mind. Next, consider diversifying your income streams. Relying on a single source of income can be risky, especially during a recession. Think of it as placing all your eggs in one basket. If that basket tips over, you're left with nothing. By diversifying, you're spreading your eggs into multiple baskets. This could mean exploring side hustles, investing in stocks or real estate, or maybe even starting a small business. The goal is to create multiple flows of income that can help you stay afloat when one stream dries up. Lastly, stay informed about economic trends. Knowledge is power, and in this case, it's your radar, helping you navigate the fog of a recession. By keeping an eye on economic indicators, you can spot the signs of a recession and take proactive steps. Read widely engage with expert analyses, and educate yourself about the economy. The more you know, the better prepared you'll be. Recessions are like ghosts. They're daunting, they're chilling, and they can leave lasting effects. But by building an emergency fund, diversifying your income, and staying informed, you can turn on the lights and dispel the shadows. By being proactive, we can mitigate the chilling effects of the next recession and ensure that its ghost is less haunting. The ghost of a recession is a chilling reminder of the potential devastation of economic downturns. It's a specter that looms in the corners of our economies, a phantom that creeps in when we least expect it, leaving a trail of hardship in its wake. But we don't have to be defenseless. We can arm ourselves with knowledge, prepare for the unexpected, and advocate for policies that bolster our economy against these spectral forces. We can be the agents of change who transform the haunting shadows of recession into the dawn of economic resilience. Staying informed is our first shield. Understanding the signs of a looming recession, the factors that contribute to it, and the strategies to mitigate its impacts are all vital. We must be willing to learn from the past, analyze the present, and anticipate the future. This is not just a task for economists, it's a responsibility for us all. Preparing for the future is our second line of defense. This involves financial planning, diversifying income streams, and investing in our skills and education. It's about creating a safety net, so when the ghost of recession rears its head, we're ready to face it head on. And finally, we must be advocates, advocates for responsible economic policies that foster growth, stability, and equity. We must demand transparency from our leaders accountability from our institutions and resilience from our economies. We must champion policies that not only help us recover from recessions, but prevent them from happening in the first place. So let's stand strong. Let's arm ourselves with knowledge, prepare for the unexpected, and advocate for a stronger, more resilient economy. Because together, we can face the ghost of a recession and emerge stronger from its haunting shadows.